Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing on part 31 of Tabby's journey through Baldur's Gate 3. In my last episode, we went up against all the guards in the camp and we defeated them all. Maybe not on the first attempt, but you know what I mean. We eventually got there. Now I'm going to go back in. I'm going to clean up the mess somewhat. And we're going to talk to the dark gnomes, underground gnomes, whoever was there anyway, the slaves. We're going to go back, have a chat with them and continue on from there. So as always, let's jump straight into it. So here we are back again. I'm pretty sure I talked to everyone the last time. I might just talk to the two guys Seems just like to see how they're talk. getting on. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. I would hope not. Yes, uh, pet the cup. And as always, oh, <laughs> she's glitching out a bit there. <laughs> Maybe she's really excited. She's like, oh my god, yes. <laughs> now you like it here? Nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. Goblin cat smells like goblins. Okay, goodbye. He's uh, clearly just repeating the same thing. I was hoping that... It went not open, but I thought they might say something to do with the fact that they had the nightmare I'm last night. Path. Right, I'm going to F5 this. Just because I got a comment, I'm going to try to do it. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, really, I didn't think this would be a good idea, but I'm going to trust you, dear commenter. <laughs> Let's see what happens. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. Okay, I'm not even going to be able to look at this myself. Um. <laughs> I assure you, I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. Yeah, reassuring. Let's do it. Oh, I can't even Vola look at this. carefully holds <laughs> one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. Uh, let him carry on. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Uh. <laughs> Pain shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have it. The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Oh my god. <laughs> Lolo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye. Then, reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I can't even look. Lolo slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Now. Oh Don't. my god! The cold metal presses <laughs> against the skin beneath your brow. And then. Tap, tap, stab. I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just. I'm going I to die, aren't I? <laughs> Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Threat! He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. So I think I'm dead. 
<laughs> there appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. I think I'm gonna be reloading this. <laughs> Please try not to overexert yourself. You're in a rather fragile state at present. I can't help but feel partly responsible. Perhaps there is something more I can do. Take this a far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta. Oh, what? So she can... Oh, I mean... <laughs> Oh my goodness, um, should we tank him? I don't know, I am very weird about how they look, the characters, even though you can't seem to see any real difference with the eye. Oh look, maybe we'll keep it. Um, <laughs> I, I actually thought he was going to kill her. I was full sure that was her going to be dead, being honest. I don't know about you. I, I actually had to take the headphones off and look away. I can't. I'm so squeamish with things like that. I actually couldn't watch it at all. So if you manage to watch all that, fair play to you. <laughs> You're a braver person than I am. But uh, anything, even with the noises, I couldn't. I couldn't do that to myself. And I mean, I think just like that, uh, Volo is gone. So <laughs> I think we'll go back to... I think we'll leave camp and we'll go back out again. Uh, maybe a little sneaky F5 just beforehand. I can decide then if I want to go back to pre-eye or post-eye uh, extraction and decide from there. Now I am very aware that it is very time sensitive. Obviously your man is kind of dying. Oh, these lads just went back to work, so even though they were freed... But well, maybe I need to talk to them and tell them they can go. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Go to him. I'm tempted to cheer at the sight of these dead Dwergar, but there are still gnomes trapped behind those rocks. We need to get them out. Now! Yeah, I'm happy to help the gnomes. So we're at 10%. Man! Man! Please, my sister's in there. Okay. Gnomes speak in soft whispers, the words all but lost in the hot air. Uh, oh yeah, eavesdrop. And add a bonus, a bit of guidance. Why not? A very respectable 24. We'll never get through. We need that smoke powder. Finamine's gone, and if she's smart, she won't be coming back. Beltron's trapped with that maniac Nia. If you won't find Philamine, I will. Forget the smoke powder. There could be more slavers out there. You draw them right to her. Oh, let me do it. Uh, uh, the surgeons, this is your chance to flee. It's my Beltron. He's still back there. I... Lankbuck, don't! Oh, damn it, Larida. We've lost enough of us. I'm not losing Beldron too. Mom, our friends are trapped in the cave-in. And I know a way to get them out. Bug, please. Trusol near will... You know what he'll do. I'm gonna say, don't worry, I'm gonna be dealing with him anyway. Yeah. A few days back, there was a... A scene. Our friend Philamine, she's a sapper, set off a blast and ran off. We set a spot for hiding if someone found trouble. I'll mark your map. If Philamine made it, you'll find her there. 
She'll have the stuff to blow that tunnel wide open and get Beldron and the rest out. Hey, uh, yep. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Please, please don't hurt my Phil. I beg you. Hurry. Our people won't last in that cave in forever. No worries. So let's see. Now, in terms of the comments I got as well, I was told I have too many concentration spells, which, I mean, honestly, that does make sense. Now, I know Tabby can swap out her spells. Oh, yeah, here we go. I might be able to do it. Uh, let's see. Spells. Oh, these are the level... Oh, these are the level trees I can have that I don't have. Right, let me see. So, I have Moonbeam. Is that, that's a con... That's concentration, concentration. That's concentration. I did spells. I mean, that's... Oh, always prepared. Okay, so it's one of these. I like Moonbeam. I can probably take out Sleet Storm. We'll take out Sleet Storm. And I will put in something that is not concentration. Rain dead. Daylight. Resound damage, disease, and have no effect. I mean, I can pick a level two and I can use it as a level three. So that's concentration. Concentration. Con. Con. <laughs> Here we go. Flame blade. Oh. Flame blade looks nice. Force and off balance to see wisdom save lesser restoration. I like that because sometimes I mean they are up close, so no harm putting that in. Yeah, I think for now because I do like moonbeam and I do like heat metal. In, if you were playing actual, say, Dungeons and Dragons with that heat metal, obviously, let's say they are wearing a chest plate and it's obviously made of metal and you use heat metal on it. They aren't going to get the fire damage, but for each round that it is on, they get fire damage. And I think they have to use a full action to actually take it off. So they lose an action from it as well. So I do like heat metal just for that. It's not really saying it here. So cause a metal weapon or armor to glow red hot and force wear it to let go. Oh yeah. Or receive disadvantage. Maybe their one is just to do with weapons. Not too sure. I'll leave it as that for the moment though. Now he did say he marked. So that is her hiding spot. And where are we? So... Yeah, we'll have to kind of go off this direction. I mean, the other thing I am absolutely assuming is because I have attacked them, I am sure it's a... Uh, yeah, that's on group. I'm, I'm sure they're all going to be after me now. Let's see, can I... Where is my jump? Right. Oh, no, that's hide. Time to skulk about. Give me a second. I should, why don't, where's my jump? I throw. I know I can add, well, yeah, there we go, that helps. Yeah. I know it's a lot more, but no harm. There's our jump. Nah. Uh, I know as well, sorry, one of the comments you were saying as well about Longstrider. Is that a feast, though? Let me see, sir. I'm going to pop back in. I keep getting them wrong. Yet again, it'd just be a good couple of days between me playing this game and actually getting to record it. So I find when I come back in, I'm a bit rusty. Am I meant to have long strider? I just... Or in... Maybe it's enhanced sleep? Oh, no, long strider. There we go. Enhanced sleep might actually be a better one to have. So, that is not con. 
That is a con save, but it's not concentration. Concentration con wisdom. No, look, maybe I'll get rid of that and throw in the enhanced leap. There, so that's in there now. It is a level one spell. Does it really matter as much? Uh, maybe it won't let me do it. Oh, I have to, sorry. Onto herself. There we go. And there, now you can go. We'll see what's in the skeleton. Oh, let's have a read. A component of a magical sending, hastily scrawled and incomplete. Seal the lower temple. Grimforge taken by unknown force. Many soldiers. One face. Infernal. Their leader. The note cuts off abruptly. Ink slashed through with blood. We are going to take, well, I will take that. And we will take. We'll take that, pick up. I don't think. Well, actually, you know what, for the money. I think that's okay. And over here. Yeah, nothing else really to see. I wonder how... Oh, one turn. Oh, <laughs> look, I, I can get back out, so... That's fine. I suppose it would be a bit too overpowered if I could keep doing it over and over. Oh, I don't think I got to take anything off him yet. Whipping cane. There's not an extra on it. Sorry, we need to group up again. Toggle group mode. No recom. We all go this way. Ah, now something else I was thinking. I can't go in Looks there like though. Someone's not a fan of Shah. Smeared the absolute symbol all over her. Poor Shadowheart won't like that. May the darkness protect you. Okay. I thought she was going to say something about that. Uh, <laughs> no. Oh yeah, over here. With this one, what I thought I could have possibly done. Ah, you can't get through. I was wondering because I have not yet got to do it. And I kind of forgot I could do it, being honest. But I forgot traps, I can turn into a cat. And kind of go in maybe smaller places if I need to. So I was thinking, I thought that was maybe... Let's have a look. A hole through into the other place, but it isn't. So that's fine. Yeah, not unreal of interest. I mean, a lot of in here. Do we have a look at this heavy chest? It's locked. Uh, don't touch me. <laughs> I love it when he says that. Uh, don't worry, I won't. Uh, can you lock pick it though? And we'll add on his own guidance and hope for the best. Very good, and continue. We'll see what's in here. Oh, deed of ownership. Oh. Let it be known from the Fadrim to the Firelands, from Mondiver to the Spawning Deep, the Iron Hand Gnomes with the blessing of the Shield of the Golden Hills declare possession of the tunnel, open spaces, people, and contents of underdark territories beneath the Western Heartlands. Ignore this deed under penalty or imprisonment or debt. Improved and signed, Walbrin Bungle. <laughs> we will take that. I don't know. I doubt we now own the underdark. Can't give up now. I'd kind of like if we did, but I don't think so. On my way. Come out this way maybe for a quick little look see oh potion of healing handy we will definitely take that wooden barrel uh, camp supplies yep yeah. oh all camp supplies fine don't think we'll be going over there anything over this way no not really I think we have, we'll be coming back here anyway, I would be guessing, when when we're trying to free them, I suppose. But our main goal now is to try to find herself. Someone asleep. 
It definitely sounds like snoring. Or spiders. <laughs> uh, it's yeah, whatever these little weird spider yolks are. How do I get down there then? Probably jump down? Now I want to get over there. Let's see. Oh, we might have to go up. This way it is a bit like a maze. Or maybe if we stand on this, is this something to do with it? No. Okay. That's fine. Oh, Donna, you... <laughs> You didn't notice anything that just happened, I hope. Saluna did call forth the moon and the stars. Shah cloaked them in shadow to cover our scars. Oh, I think I've read that already. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to argue. The rest of them don't seem to actually realize what happened. <laughs> I'm quite happy with it. I kind of don't want to discussion. talk to them in case I fight them, but I do too. Better not be cursed. You didn't notice anything now? If you're wanting the sergeant, she's at the dig. Now scram. She's not anymore. Ah, there we go. Did I get this already? Maybe I did. Okay, yeah, no, I've been this way. Can we keep going down here, maybe? No, I was this way too. Nothing suspicious, guys. Don't be worried. I just need to figure out how to get over there. Okay. I definitely have a feeling this is going to be one of these places that you're going to have to go up to go down different areas and then back up other areas to go down. Basically, I, I have a feeling this place is going to be a bit of a nightmare. Publicly displayed. The Dwergar is sending a message. Oh, executed drow. Mia's dead. You want a medal or a chest to pin it on? Oh, is he dead already? <laughs> I, I'm not going to argue, but I would like to... Oh, I could talk to them. Hello, spider friends. I speak true, brothers. You know it in your hearts. You know it in your very souls. We need no lolf. No spider queen. Father Murmuth is the head of Clan Lur. He hatched us, raised us, feeds us. What care we for his business here? He keeps us small, keeps us contained. We should be with the Spider Queen, revered, adored. I mean, <laughs> see how the mutiny plays out. I gotta try to recall my learnings. Yeah, my intelligence is a minus one, so... Our girl isn't as intelligent as we might like. I know nothing. <laughs> Tabby knows nothing. Oh, go on, I have four anyway. Oh, I thought I was saying difficulty class was... Uh, 20. There we go. That was a lot better. You've read that harming spiders is illegal among Loth's faithful and often punishable by death. Father Mermoth is our past. Loth is our future. These spiders are loyal to the local Dwergar. In the event of a fight, they will join the fray against you with slavering enthusiasm. Perfect. So I definitely want them to... <laughs> Go with her. <laughs> Xanta, is it so? I've heard the very same. Come, brothers, follow me into her hairy embrace. Her embrace? We're ready. We follow. <laughs> yes. Now, brothers, our new dawn awaits. They'll probably attack me anyway. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I usually have like a massive fear of spiders, but I kind of like them now. <laughs> uh, I mean, when I woke up this morning, I didn't think I'd be, you know, partaking in a mutiny with spiders, but 
I mean, it's not the... It's not the weirdest morning I've had either, I suppose. Is that them still up there? Oh no, <laughs> I can't wait to see them again now. Metal door, will we go in and have a look if it can that. open? Oh, it opens anyway. Oh, the poor dead deep gnomes. What's hiding here? Yeah, what is hiding here? Oh, auto saving. Always a good sign. I'm assuming though we are going the right way. Or maybe not. Oh. Ah, very good. Okay. So maybe not completely on the way to her. Oh. Maybe I need more pockets. Very good. We will still try to find... Um, we will still try to find the other one anyway just because I want to kind of help her for them but that is very handy now for us to have as per usual they're given lots of lovely options for us to be able to blow down the wall maybe in case we didn't want to help her maybe in case you know they we failed with our roles with them Another door over here, which is wet for some reason. Wet and locked. Um, oh, I'm gonna F5 and I'm going to try to talk to these guys. Let's start. Unless you're here to kick some stiffs lakeside, I suggest you bugger off. Eh, <laughs> uh, grim work. I hope, uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah. Nah, Rockfall smashed them. Can't have them stinking up the place. <laughs> the half that weren't crushed are digging the true soul out of the wreckage. Uh, I, no, I wouldn't even say that to them. No. They're really doing some kicking around though, aren't they? Is that, that's just a chest. Is there Robin? Mm. Nope, maybe not. They haven't said anything yet. I mean, so that is locked. Kitchen. Oh. <laughs> Get in Eat and drink freely, for the lady doth come. Hmm. Fables. Oh, a cheerful deep dome. Sad. What's that? Deep in the underdark lived Doyle. A plucky deep gnome slave. Day and night he and his brother toiled for five drugger smiths, mining iron and mitral until their arms ached and their I'm eyes yours. burnt. I'll faster, watch. cried the dugger, and faster right. Doyle would dig, even into the night while his master slept, smiling all the while. How can you smile while we slave? asked the brother. Because I wish our masters much success, was Doyle's reply. Words of the Duggar's quality it. weapons and armor quickly spread. To meet demand, the Duggar uh, brought in more slaves and began to forge and stockpile their wares at the dig site. Yet Doyle dug harder than ever, his wide grin never fluttering. Soon the Duggar's operation grew oh, so that. great that they commanded 20 deep known slaves. The day the 21st came, Doyle laughed and swooped so loud. His Duggar captors sought silence in a nearby grotto. <laughs> The slaves returned to find Doyle and his fellow deep gnomes clad in reverse mitral armor and carrying mighty iron weapons, all taken from the slaver's stockpile. The five duggers fell quickly, for they were no match for 21 armed deep gnomes, and Doyle, he never stopped smiling. Beneath the fable, the streeter has written a brief review. A uh, garbage! This is where the gnomes are getting bright ideas. Anyhow, I don't get it. The lessons make no sense. See, I'm wondering, I obviously don't want to... Oh, I might just ask, I'm wondering if these guys have a key to get in there. Hello? They. 
Get him. Some of us don't have time to faff about. Yeah, okay. My fear is if we try to lock pick it, they might not like us. Let's find out, eh? Should be easy. They might not like this at all. Well, after killing half of them anyway, what's two more? Ugh. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. Just about. And these things have stayed interesting. Well, they haven't said anything. So in we go. Watching me. Ugh. The scraps of a nightfall feast. Yeah, I'm probably not going to try to. Okay. Let that all fit in my pack. I'm say I'm not going to eat anything here. Just in case. Another secret. I won't say hideaway. Um, door in there. Door there. I think we'll have to go up this way. Yeah, through this door instead. It is. Ugh. I smell a trap. Oh well, that yeah, that's acid. Oh, wasn't expecting that to happen. Oh no, not these guys. Oh. <laughs> I only actually know these from Dungeons and Dragons itself. I think you can only hit them with magic, but they are not fun. I'll tell you that now, if it's the ones I'm thinking of. Oh, they're like, these, oh, they're so annoying. I'm pretty sure their defense is like super high as well. Uh, yet again, I think Moonbeam might actually kind of work on them. Okay. Now these kind of look maybe fiery. I can't remember if I, I... I actually feel like I'm confusing them with Final Fantasy. I feel like if I hit them with something they are made out of, it will heal them. Oh no. They did not light that fire, so that's good. And her turn. Word. See, I don't think... I'll try it, but I do not think... Yeah, I don't think she's gonna be able to hit them. Let's see. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, opportunity attack. Yep. Back we go. Uh, while on server juice his armor class by two okay oh one down one down very good and I mean the fire the quite well the last time that's fire yeah Ooh, do I need to <laughs> yeah. I was thinking it might not work let me try off and attack no the opportunity attack that's fine can't stay idle and we can't, my dear, but we can put it down on top of them. Uh, it's not, it's not doing as well. Oh, flame. Ooh, that is a bonus, but it's a level two. No point in using all our good spells just yet. Quite bolt. Oh, 90 target is too close. I think, yeah, opportunity attack. I could disengage. Do I want to? No. I know it's at a disadvantage. Yeah. Fuck yes. Uh, reckless attack. I mean, any point in raging? Possibly not. Dazed. Oh, well, it's dazed. I see now. How are you going to. Oh, I thought I was going to jump down. <laughs> Thirteen, yeah, see, they're a hard hitter. You want to kind of get rid of them as quickly as possible. My only issue now is 
No. Time to push my luck again. That's fine. That is good. That is good. Now this guy though is up. Yeah. Too high. Let me see. Okay. So the two of them. So I'm going to try to move that. Maybe onto... I should. No. This yep. is good. Because Shadowheart and Karlak are going to have a go before this guy anyway. So hopefully, hopefully. Yes, very good. Right. Now, your bonus heal. I would just take a healing potion. Oh, we'll take it. Can't get her to jump. No, I'm okay with her there. Can I get Karlak to jump? She can jump over there. Just, I kind of want her to avoid the acid. I can't jump her again though. How far? Oh, look, Find we'll just route. run her through it. Oh, okay, never mind. It doesn't do anything anyway. Crit hit. Oh, okay. He just moved out of it. Now I could start dashing him, I suppose. Double his movement speed. Will we? Yeah, may as well. See how far we can get this you. Way. Ah, yeah, he got acid, acid damage. Oh, he has played to them. Another fight. Very good. Let's it's so go. handy. I do. I always forget I have it for a bonus action. And we're going to absolutely put that on top of you there we go whittle you down very well acid no worries up you pop i'm ready and you as well we'll just try to get them all up as close as we can i don't like it having that high ground up there put them up so the sooner we can get them up to oh, us yeah. the better Probably hit it with an arrow. May as well give it a shot. Five. Very good. Fourteen. Yeah. I mean, right, we can put him here. Where is his cunning Just hide? Oh, well, he has advantage. Yeah. Nice. Still breathing. And despite everything. Pop that down on top. Here him. goes nothing. And not Karlak. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Did it eat Karlak? No, I don't think so. Oh, phew. Okay, I was really thinking they can be really tough in game to actually fight. So, well. yeah, thankfully that went a lot better than I thought. I'll probably get rid of our moonbeam before we Anything walk in it. Take all this. Gonna have five. And we'll keep going and we'll see. Oh. I don't know if that's good that we've taken that. I don't know if she'll be too happy. Maybe now though, because we've convinced those spiders to join her, she might like us. I'm assuming we may be getting close to where this hiding place is. Let feast the eyes of the faithful. Know your goddess. Know her command. So this is going to be Shar or... Oh no, I, I thought it was light in them. This, I suppose, will be Shar or... Lot? Lot? The Spider Queen. And go up this way too. Oh, that's handy. That's another way in. Very good. Take this creeper, chasm creeper, <laughs> as well. And there we go. Hello, my friend. I better go to altar before I start robbing things. Mm. We come in peace. Hold it! I swear to Iron Hand, 
One more step, and a blow is to chunks. An ashen scent fills the air. The barrel is filled with smoke powder. Easy now. Let's not do anything hilarious. Shut your mouth, Hoon, or I'll shut you down. We're here as friends. Uh, let's see. Uh, Drug. Dropping my name like your culty stars knows me. Like we're friends. I know what you are. One of Nia's cult goons. Sailed right in. Better to die in this shit eat than rot in Moonrise. You want me? Come get me. Uh, persuasion. I mean, I don't even know why that is a persuasion because they did send me. Um, not intimidation. Are you sure about this once you're dead? That's it. It's over. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Because that is what's... I mean, it's the truth of the matter. And I'm going to help them. Oh, uh, let's... Okay. Yeah, we've just done it. Very good. Lorida. Ruddy mind games. I, I know all about your tricks, true soul. Shit. I can't do it. Go on. Drag me to Moonrise. I'll make you cult nutters suffer. No. I'm not taking you anywhere. You're free to go. Yeah. You want to waste rune powder on... Look. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Any true Iron Hand would trade their life for a grain of this stuff. It's the whole damn reason we're here, and I'm not leaving without it. But let me go. Maybe I'll spare you a vial. Uh, I ran what? Yeah, let's... Let's... I... Is it... I'm assuming it's from that book that I just read? Oh, nice! <laughs> Very good! Rune powder is no mesh folklore. An explosive of awesome power handed down to the gnomes by their war god. Gerdel Iron Hand, a formula so dangerous it was stricken from history, if it ever existed to begin with. I like how her eyes look normal enough you can't tell that she lost one. Uh, yeah, rune powder. <laughs> We've heard the same ones, I bet. A fistful of fire that can turn cities to dust. Well, it's real, and I need to bring it back to Baldur's Gate. I'd rather my clan were with me, but the mission comes first. A vial's what I can spare you. You know what? That's fine, because I actually have some anyway. Uh, I'll need to know before I let you go. I'm just going to go deal. Listen, you see Lorida at the dig? Tell her I'm dead. Impaled. Half eaten. I don't care. Make up a story. Oh, but why? And I thought I heard it all. That's some Cambian level deception. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Beloved. <laughs> I might have been hers. She sure as hell wasn't mine. I'm getting the room powder back to Boulder's Gate. Alone. Hmm, very interesting. Ooh, what do we do there? Oh. <laughs> Off she goes. Fast little, fast mover. Jesus. Hmm, that is so, oh, I don't know. What do we do with that one? Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, map of Grand Forge drawn by hand, yet highly detailed. Points of interest are marked with black X's, aside from two, which are identified by bold red circles, one on each level of the fortress. The words hiding spot are written within the upper circle. The lower circle is identified as smoke powder reserve. So yeah, we can find more of us. Are we? Oh wait, sure, that's probably the one I got anyway. A supply pack. Guidance is gone. What's in the... Oh, that's just for... For the camp. 
Uh, we'll read this journal. Day one. Never saw a beast like it. Bloated with muscle, tusks as long as my arms. Scent of charred flesh, but I saw no flames. The stone might have been parchment, so quick did the creature charge through it. The other judiciaries are dead or close to it. It wasn't alone, the Hell Knights too. Masks bolted to their faces, like plaques to a wall. Day 3. Trapped. Another rampage. And down the walls came. Started to dig. Not sure. Then day 7. It's done. May Shar's shadow keep me. Hmm. We'll take that with us as well. Can I open the skeleton? Oh, <laughs> we'll open him and we'll take his gold. Tablet fragments. A lot of tablet fragments. Kind of like when we were on the ship the first time. Uh, pick up an add to wares. Both the top and bottom of the tablet are uneven and it's written begin and end mid-sentence. Nensa Tende and the Lady of Loss shall know you. The law of nightfall, from the moon falls the foulest delight. It peeks through cracks and fissures, illuminating the most remote recesses of the underdark. Light bestows hope. A pernicious, pernicious notion which must be extinguished. At the darkest hour, pray to your lady and feast in her honour. The second day after, slay a disciple of Saloon. If none may be found, a Latandaran or a Mysterian are an acceptable offering. Do this once a ten day and the Lady of Loss shall know you. The L. The inscription ends here. So it's just always to worship her. True, the bottom edge is smooth. The jagged edge at the top of the tablet reveals it was broken away from a larger slab. Its inscription begins mid-sentence. R of obstinance. The word of Kerturic Tom is the word of Shar. You shall put no god nor mortal before him. You shall question him in neither word nor deed. When the sun has fallen and the moon is new, bow your head in prayer. Proclaim your devotion to Shar and her paladin, Keteric Torm. Promise your soul and flesh and seek no fortune nor favour. When your prayer is finished, speak thus. Mistress Shar, I have glorified your name. Master Torm, I have cried out your word. I am your servant forevermore. So said Shar to me, Keteric Tom. So it is decreed and so it is done. Wield the power secret. Where light shines, extinguish it. Heed the word of your mistress and master. Do this, and the Lady of Loss shall know you. Uh, pick up an add to wares. Pick up an add to wares. We'll take all of these things, which I'm sure will not get us into trouble at all. Already read that one. Pick you up and put you in two. Yeah, I doubt there'll be too much more in here. I really don't know what I am going to say. Tier one, I feel so bad that the other one is just like, yeah, I'm gone. Bye. <laughs> Tell her I'm dead. It's good here, I hope. In all fairness, though, I probably will. I'm trying to think. Here we go. I don't like Tavi Lion though either, but at the same time, mm. if the other one doesn't want to be found, would we really? I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some thinking about this one now on the way back. We didn't go in here yet, did we? No. Kinda looks all caved in. Nah, I don't think we can go anywhere really in here. I suppose, can I... I can map it back to just there instead of having to run all the way. I hope we don't end up blowing all these up either. Oh no, look, I think... I think I'm going to follow what your one said and not tell her. Oh my god, did it get in? Oh no. 
Oh, yeah, sorry, it's over here. It looked like for a second that they had got in there. It's like, oh my goodness. Alright, we're gonna F5 this. Now, who do I talk to, or do I just do like what I done the last time and take it out? We need to clear the. Yep, right. Uh, items. Let's go for latest. Nearly encumbered again. And force damage. I mean, pro? What did I do the last time? Oh, I'm gonna have five it because I know when I do this, it's going to kill them, I'd say. No, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back. And fire in the hole! Beldron, can you hear me? Beldron! Finally! Worthless slaves! Your incompetence has been my ruin! Nair does not fail. Oh my god! <laughs> so you care for the weak, true soul? Was it your hand that slayed Nair's servants? Or is there a sane explanation? Oh, I hate him so much. Uh, want the rock fenced? Slave uprising, they slaughtered. No, I'm not going to decept. Um, yeah, you know what? I, I, I hate him. <laughs> My only decision is, oh, I won't talk about the fun guys because I don't. Yeah, if something happens and he's able to, I was going to say telecommunicate, <laughs> but he's able to. I don't want him going after them. Traitor. You have breathed your last. Good. I'm going to absolutely kill you, you mean, mean person. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Yeah, I know Carlac did not like that, but I'm... Carlac, you don't need to understand my ways. I don't want him Radio knowing North. that the... Fun guys wanted him dead. Oh, sure. I don't know what's happened here. Saying he doesn't have... Oh, there we go. He seen... And I that... This is worth the cost. It's... Uh, well, I hope so too, but I mean, it should be. Unless the other lads Let's decide to... Completely mess us around. Which, I mean... The fun guys could. Shield of screams. What's he thrown? Oh, he saved on the ice. We we are going to rage herself. He was... I'm so happy I'm killing him now. I can't believe he kicked that poor one in there. And what else can we do? Weakening, we can escape and wound. Prone, yeah, you know what? Didn't do us. That's, you know what? Still happy. He might be an easy enough one to kill. 28, very nice. Uh, I put shield on her. And we are back. Back again. I mean, can get him here. Cunning hide. Time for a new. See if I can hit him. Another nice. parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. Oh, let's talk to. Uh, let's. Where's my friend? Another step forward. There he right. is. Nothing let's see what he has to say. Well, you did it. Of course I did. When near. Please, do what you want. Just don't hurt my sister. I'm not going to. Beldron! I was so worried. 
Didn't it hurt you? No, no, I'm all right. Did the sergeant hurt you? Oh, who cares? We're together now, thank Iron Hand. <laughs> we ought to thank someone a little closer by, I think. Gadel Iron Hand, you may not be, but you damn well fight like him. <laughs> I'm grateful, don't mistake me, but why help us? You're one of them, aren't you? Oh, look, I just happened to get branded by accident. <sighs> don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, the cult thinks it owns me. I beg to differ. But it's like, thank she's the one that sent me on your trail. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Um, oh, but is that who? I don't even know if it was. Um, da -da -da -da. You did just lift a mountain from our heads, so good enough for me, I reckon. Here. The Iron Hand gnomes honor their debts. With Walburn gone, that falls to me. Make it quick. We need to find Walburn. Now! You're a little late, Barkus, my lad. He's already been sent to Moonrise Towers. We were just slave hands to the cult, but not Walburn. He knows things. Things they want to know, too. What has he gotten himself mixed up in now? Oh, well, I mean, I'll go after him as well. Uh, already escaped with the room powder. We just have anything. Um, yeah, I, I actually think that's what you would say. You really would, wouldn't you? But not us. My people can barely stand, and we have business back in the city. That business is what sent us after the powder to begin with. Now, we'll have to make other arrangements. And just like that, you'd leave Walbrin behind? I knew you lot were foolish, but I didn't know you were cruel. If you knew half as much as you think, my lad, Walbrin might have kept you around. Uh, no bickering, run away. Uh, if the pad takes me, I'll see if I can save. Yeah. He'd admire your resolve and your optimism. My people will find somewhere to regroup across the lake, then on to the city. If you find yourself in Baldur's Gate, seek us out. We'll raise a glass to Walbrun together. I wish I could inside check him. Did they suffer? I still feel so bad about that one that he just like kicked in. Ugh, I think is this the one that we have to lie to? At least, at least some of us are safe. Praise Iron Hand. If only there were more blessings to count. Ugh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what would <laughs> okay um let's weigh up i i genuinely feel bad for this one because obviously she wanted to find the other one the other one was a bit weird but wants to get back bad news i mean this one could be a stalker for all we know um oh uh... Gods, no! It wasn't supposed to be like this! <laughs> Just get away from me! Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to do in these situations. Um... Are you alright? Where where is he actually now? We need to get his head for the fun guys. The decaying corpse lies before you. Yep. Yeah. Now she she has like no strength whatsoever. Oh 
increases your strength up to 21. I mean, we may as well. And, yeah, let's see. Very good. Very good. <laughs> I don't think I can watch this either if they show it. The head breaks off cleanly from the drow's body. I think something happened to Tabby's poor <laughs> tunic there. Let's see, what's this? Oh. Absolutely, it's going to completely center. Oh. Can you just. Can I equip them to her? What are they? Very rare. Wait. Is that a bruise there? Oh. Stop fussing. It's nothing, I swear. I'm your husband. It's my job. Uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. Psychic. Uh, race sickness. I mean, I'm assuming Tavi can use it. We'll take it anyway. Take that. Absolutely taking your money. Going to equip that to Tavi as well. Uh, take that. Object catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within. <sighs> Broken as an old heart. Nothing but dust inside. Uh, yeah, let's have... Examine the dust, yeah. It probably burns a soul or something. Now wait until we see. Yes! Always good. This is pixie dust. Used to illuminate a lamp. Or left behind after a pixie's death. Yeah, he definitely like, kept a pixie in there for light. The rolls are going well today, thankfully. You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. Sure, we'll take it with us, I assume. And take that. Wait. Now, is that a what happens if I go in here? I know there's still gas. You'd wonder, is the gas... There's another door down here. I mean, it's gas the whole way. Let's see. I know this is not going to end well. Yep, poisoned. Taught as much. I mean, the point itself is... Uh, it's not... I mean, look, it's not the worst damage I've seen. Wait now until she absolutely falls down dead. What now? Can you... Can you lockpick <laughs> through the poison? <laughs> Can't reach it. Oh, there we go. And his own guidance we can add... Oh no! <laughs> Critical failure. Uh, roll again with inspiration, yeah. Very good. There we go. Can we go in? Over there. Where is this? Impressive looking ruins down there. But well out of reach. Yeah. That is so weird. I mean, for this one, though, we're going to go back to camp now because we've had quite a lot happen <laughs> just there. Uh, Still breathing. I think we'll get Despite ready for everything. bed and then I'll go around and talk Let's to everyone. I do wonder if they'll have more to talk heart. about with me when I do that. How can I help? Uh, condition of yours, I realize. What do you think? Right, he is nothing really to talk about. Carlac, my dear, what about you? I know you weren't too happy with me. Copper for your thoughts. What's well, so? This is where. How about you? You'll need to stay. I think I've actually had all these conversations with her. 
Yes. What do you think? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Casador has control of me, body and soul, and I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Casador. Yeah, I mean, I suppose we have other options. Figuring out what's happening to us, confronting a god called the Absolute, and then finding time to kill my old master before he can control me once more. Yes, that's an option, but I wouldn't bet eternity on it. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> as optimistic as ever. What about you, Lazel? Anything of interest? Speak. Ah, uh, let's see. See, mind players. Now, these are all conversations I've had with them. Uh, Will, how are you doing? See how things are. Welcome to the League of the Lone Eye, my friend. Not to minimize the pain of Volo's poking and prodding, but I promise. You'll be used to the prosthesis in no time. Besides, I find it gives one an air of mystique. No one's more intriguing than a woman with one eye. I mean, I can't, I can't argue with that. Um, what do you think, potential dream visitors? I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. I can't say I'm not curious, but once you take an elithid by the talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. Yeah, cultists, uh, you see how you look at me, how fun to know what to do we face. Uh, I mean, do I really want to try to persuade him? Just because it's an option, I mean, I'll try. Yeah, I'm not going to try to... I'm not going to re-roll again anyway. There's no point. I appreciate where you're coming from. Truly, I do. But these parasites are quite literally elithid weapons of war. And I'm not so certain they won't be turned against us upon consuming them. Yeah, I do think that as well. I must say. I do think so. Was that sequence? May the darkness protect you. And may it protect you. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, no. I've done... These are all things I've talked to them all about anyway. So I think it is Betty Bye's time. But actually, no. Let's let's talk to the best boy first. Should mind my step. Come here, my friend. Come back. <laughs> now. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I am, friend. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. I killed Nier, and I took his head. By the way, I have one eye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and into bed so we could have nightmares of Volo again. <laughs> uh, all select. I really, let's see if we have a visitor. We haven't had a visitor in ages. Yeah, it doesn't look it. No, no visitors. Oh, look, I mean, we won't argue with it. It is a strange one. I, I thought we'd have one by now. Maybe I need to eat another tadpole for that to happen. But for this episode, that is where we're going to leave things. So, as always, another eventful day. Uh, what we're going to do on the next one is I am I'm going to go back to the fun guys and I'm going to give them the head. I'll probably I might do go back to the place we were in first because I'm going to see can deep gnomes get out themselves. I mean, I'm assuming they can. Well, I'll have another look around there beforehand. Then we'll go back to the fun guys and give them back the head. But 
what I would also like to do in future episodes is go back out and search around more because yet again I do read the comments. Now I have said in the comments people do be giving me so much advice and thank you so much. I have a head like a sieve. So what generally happens is because I struggle to multitask anyway so when I come on to play the game and record I do forget everything I'm told. So if you're giving me advice please do understand I read all the comments but when it comes to me actually doing this I just I have a terrible memory as it is anyway but I was told that I've missed a lot of the area or not a lot but I've missed some things so we will go back out and keep searching around before moving on to well, Moonrise Towers which I don't know if that's in Act 2 or not but I'm assuming not but look that's all for future episodes so as always if you like this video maybe give it a like and if you'd like to see future videos by me maybe give it a subscribe as well i'm gonna have a playlist here of the rest of tabby's journey to date and as always i just thank you so much for stopping by and spending this time with me and i will see you in the next one bye